In this video, I'll show you how to convert quiz captions to smart shapes. Okay, there was a, a recent user on the forums that was asking about captions. And at first I didn't really recognize what they were asking because they were making reference to the old caption support files that I haven't even looked at in probably getting upwards to 10 years. Uh, Adobe Captivate introduced using smart shapes for question slides. I think it was around version six or seven. I don't remember which one exactly. But uh, since then, we've had the ability to convert from the old classic Adobe Captivate captions over to smart shapes. And of course, the versatility of smart shapes is that you can fill them with just about any background that you wish. You can convert them to different shapes and things like that. And you're not limited to some of the limitations that traditional captions are. Now, I had to go back to a very old project. And of course, it doesn't really load very well in Adobe Captivate 2019. This project was probably produced with version five, six, or seven, I'm not sure which. But back then, this was the template that I used for, uh, for various different uh, courses for the organization that I worked for. So I was able to find an example of a quiz master slide that has these regular caption styles here. And you can, you can recognize those because it will say caption type and of course, you could select from a variety of different captions. And you can see here, I customized some of my own. Uh, I was surprised that this even loaded because those files would have, I guess they were attached to the, the project itself. But you'll also recognize call out captions because they have these little word balloon versions of themselves. So you can make it appear as if someone's saying these things, uh, much like you would see in a comic book. Now, in this case here, it's a very simple procedure. If you've got an older project or a project that was originally developed in one of these older versions of Captivate, you can convert these. And I've do, I'm doing this on the master slide so that I don't have to do it uh, everywhere. So if I right click on one of these old style captions, you'll see I have the option to convert to smart shape. And here, of course, I'm presented with the normal uh, choice of smart shapes here. We can go with rectangle, but there's nothing to stop you from choosing any of the shapes that are available here. And Captivate will think about that for a little bit. And now you see that it's a smart shape. So I can, of course, do whatever I wish with it. I can go with a solid fill like you see here, or I could choose a gradient fill if I wanted that sort of effect. And I can also use an image fill. And this way you can select any image that's in your library. You could also import, um, you know, another image that if you wish from outside of Captivate. And uh, of course you can choose to either tile it or stretch the image and have it fit appropriately. And of course you would change the text to contrast with that background, of course, and maybe reduce the opacity of that background image so that it kind of shows through there. And then, of course, once you have that as your default success shape style, you can save changes to the existing style and everywhere else in your project that uses that success shape style will inherit this new look and feel. And you can repeat that process for the hint captions as well as the incorrect and the incomplete captions. And then very quickly update your old course. If you thought this video was helpful, please like and share it with your colleagues. If you need help with Adobe Captivate, hire Paul for one-on-one -on -one instruction. Paul's goal is to focus on lessons based on your specific needs. Visit his website at CaptivateTeacher.com and don't forget to subscribe to his YouTube channel.